do I Aqua reviewed episode place? one of Blues and Bullets. No. It's clear to see that Which Crowd of Monsters make boss, great content and the new format jail. with the episodic content yes. is just phenomenal. Like now for episode two, movie. you're <laughs> carrying off from where you left off in episode one where you Osmond board Burke. a submarine and to try and find out boss. details for the kidnapping case. Now, pretty much an explosive start into oh, this uh, episode compared to the first one. Plenty more action with shooting soon. and making decisions. Now, I'm a big fan of episodic content. I've loved the Telltale series of games, and I'm more invested, I feel, in Blues and Bullets, especially when I reviewed the first episode quite well. Now, this one just blows it out of the park, really, for me anyway, and I think a lot of people who like these kind of games will be invested in it too. Now, the release dates between the episodes just, just take a while, so it's as good as like, the other episodic games that you do see at the beginning kind of a recap of what decisions you made. Now the noir feel, I mean when I play this I'm a big fan of LA noir game, you know playing it you know really takes you back into that kind of era and especially with the black and red, similar to Schindler's List really the film and you know if there's anything that disappoints me in this game is the kind of graphics and the cutscenes, you know they could be a bit more crisp, especially the recap at the beginning because I couldn't always make out what was on the screen. Again, top notch voice acting again from the you know the limited budgets that these guys have had. You know you really feel from what the characters say, especially Ness, and even you know his little sidekick that he goes around. Now there is gruesome parts in this game in this episode, especially. You know it's not for the faint hearted if you know you're not you know into this kind of detail. But when you're solving the case, it's searching the scenes, you come across things that will upset. But for me, and probably for a lot of people that will enjoy this kind of um, content into a game. Now, the game will take about two hours, same as the first episode, to complete. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. I didn't find myself being bored. When you play through some of these episodic games, you're going to fall asleep. And that's something that the Telltale series can learn from. You know, constant walking around forever. You know, not looking for you know parts or dialogue scenes to progress to the next part. It's quite straightforward here, and you know, it does go at a fairly decent pace. Always remembering that you know you've got to search everywhere though, and that can take a bit of time. And there is one part of the game where it did take a while to just you know find parts and I'm to look on YouTube. But you know, it's, it's a great episode, and you know, towards the end of it, it's quite. Uh, Quite good as well, so I'm not. There's no spoilers in here. This is just the early part of the game that I've decided to put the review uh, footage on. But the shooting scenes again, you know, it's fast, real to real, automatic. You know, you don't move your character around apart from you know aiming for headshots, which I do. Well, mainly you don't get any achievements for that. But you know, it's now released on the PlayStation 4 as well. You know, I've not played that version, but for more intense and purpose from what I hear, it is actually quite good playing. So. This is the part that I was telling you about where it does take you quite a while to go looking for clues. Make sure you hold the B button down to give you a bit of a fast walking. You know, that's one tip I'll give you. But what I will say is, look at the rest of this content now for the video review. You know, I'm, all I'm going to say is this is awesome. And that's my rating for this episode. Awesome. I gave the first one great. This is awesome. Stay tuned for me uh, written review coming up in the next few Damn, weeks. Where's the key? But for now, enjoy the rest of the scene. And thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and follow my Twitter account down select game for more footage. Thank you. Specific orders. Short red haired adolescent. Middle aged white man. Young Negro girl. Looks like Ivankov was paid for some of them, but some were rejected. Could this be Sophia Capone? In any case, it seems that someone paid an extremely high price. Bingo. The giant container has been used to hold children. Was Sophia Capone held in the container? Boy 
is underway. This is fresh blood, not more than a day old. They invented these less than 20 years ago to make life easier for lumberjacks. I wonder how long it was before the mob was using them for their own ends. There's more than blood on here. There's chunks of brain. The leather's ripped, torn, by teeth. <laughs> Ivan Khal is a human trafficker. He has various customers who make specific requests. Slavers, imps, God knows what else. I'm sure his men place bets, and that the whole sick spectacle. Are you joking? No. Oh man. Oh, let's take this piece of shit to Capone. 